In this video, you're going to learn full tutorial about how to use ATAS. Also, I will show you how I use my custom indicators, how to set up DOM, footprint, how to open trades, set stop losses and take profits. Everything that you need. Below this video, there would be links, time codes. If you would like to learn some topic first, you can skip and just uh, open description. And we should start right now. Major reason why I record this tutorial, because many of you ask, and second, a task completely free for crypto when you uh, trade crypto market, uh, especially with uh, Binance, Bybit, Bitget uh, exchange. That's why, what will be step number one? Step number one, you go to website and create personal account, uh, personal uh, area. Like here would be uh, registration and here you write your name, uh, you write your email, you write a phone number. And after that, you create your personal account. Step number two, you uh, go inside into that account uh, to download uh, a platform and to get access or you can use this one download and download at us and you can uh, get a task for windows and you start this stuff and you download this uh, platform you download set up choose a language english uh, uh, accept uh, uh, choose a folder where to set it uh, highly recommend you to use uh, stable and after that you uh, create, you do a setup. I don't go after because I already have a task uh, like this one. And uh, let me show to you uh, how I do all of this stuff. Before I would like to close it because uh, I would like to show you from the beginning how uh, you open connect a platform. Here, uh, when you set up a platform, always you will have such menu. Um, here you write your uh, details from your personal area, login and password, uh, server choose auto, workspace. Uh, you don't have at this moment any workspace because uh, you need to create it. Uh, and that's why choose any, push remember and start connection. And at this moment it start uh, opening on your uh, computer. When you download the platform at the beginning, you will see nearly the same as we have at this moment. Uh, that would be nearly nothing, maybe there would be some chat, but uh, still they don't look beautiful. Uh, what should we do when we uh, start a platform for beginning? First, uh, it depends, uh, do you have desire to trade through uh, this platform because you can connect it to your exchange. For example, if you trade on Binance, Bybit, Bitget, you can uh, connect it and open trades uh, from this platform. Uh, why? Because quite often I will show to you many strategies by Dome Footprint. Honestly, it would be way better to trade through a platform. I uh, personally didn't uh, took a trade through exchange, uh, except when I recorded tutorials, maybe for the last two or three years, because I use only special platforms like Atas. First, we go to settings here. After that, uh, in common settings, uh, choose here, levels count set zero, it is the first. Second, uh, time zone, uh, choose uh, a time zone for uh, markets that you use. For example, uh, you trade through uh, BitGet uh, futures, set your time zone because I'm in Ukraine. I have uh, GMT plus two and push apply. Second, here would be a connection. We already recorded uh, two videos about how to connect uh, uh, Atas to Binance and Bybit. It is two exchanges that we personally use. Soon we will record a video about BitGet. Uh, that's why uh, video how exactly create API keys, all of that stuff will be here. But uh, shortly, uh, here you push add, uh, you create API key and after that you scroll down to exchange that you work with. For example, you work with Bybit. You push the next, here you copy uh, API key, API secret. Why it's so important? Because only through uh, because only when you create it, you will be able to open a trade. Let's assume that you already connected Exchange to your platform. If you don't have account on Exchange below this video, there would be a link and there would be special bonus for those who will open account by our link. That's why below, uh, just read and use it. What we do the next, uh, remember uh, that here, this data, uh, crypto data, the data takes from Binance. Why from Binance? Uh, because in the future, when we analyze footprints, uh, it's so important to take data from Binance. Why? Uh, biggest numbers. Binance, it is 70% of derivatives market at this moment and 60% of spot market. Maybe in the future it will change, but they have most of the volume and they re, uh, impact on the market uh, the most. That's why it's so important to analyze it. But you can trade 
on any exchange that you desire, even on CFD, but I don't recommend, okay? How to set up a chart, open a chart with any instrument. Uh, on uh, a platform, here there would be this chart, you push chart, and now you have a menu to choose instruments that you would like to analyze. I added this one, it is my favorite list, but you won't have it. And at this moment, what you, can, what you should do, choose all instruments and here type, for example, uh, coins that you would like to trade. Let's assume Bitcoin USDT. And uh, here you have, uh, you can choose exchanges that you would like to use. You can use uh, BitGet, Binance Futures, let's do Binance uh, Futures Market and push OK. Also, uh, you can add two favorite, but that would be another topic. What we do here, you can uh, you can uh, maximize it and make it for whole wind uh, for whole screen. Uh, what we can do here? Firstly, I delete this stuff because it is volume profile. This one is not beautiful. Secondly, uh, uh, what we do? Let's do settings with uh, chart after the time frames uh, indicators. I will show to you step by step. First have to make your chart beautiful first go to settings and in settings that would be first grid i always uh, take it out because i don't like it uh, second one uh, i choose a color of background because i like a little bit uh, dark a little bit major reason uh, because i will quite often uh, on late hours and when we uh, have uh, two too bright, uh, it's difficult for my eyes. That's why I always have something like this one. Uh, second one, uh, this one axis, uh, you can choose also different color. It's up for you what colors uh, you would like to choose. For example, darker, uh, also current price, uh, uh, background, as you can see, price at this moment, uh, this one. Text, uh, you can choose, uh, you can move all of this stuff. Uh, secondly, uh, uh, I highly recommend you to take this one uh, out, uh, do not tr transform candles into clusters. Uh, secondly, uh, smoothing and minimize values, this one, add and push close. And at this moment, voila, you have really beautiful shots that you can walk. Uh, also, these sessions, uh, you, you also can delete the sessions uh, split. Uh, what means session every 24 hours uh, they show a line and that line uh, in most cases when daily candle opens and uh, that's uh, 2 am uh, gmt plus uh, like it is uh, midnight uh, london midnight about that sessions what you can do how you uh, can change it for example you can make it transparent and uh, no one uh, would uh, and you would not see it also if it's so important for you you can make it like a color that really makes sense for you at this moment we have a beautiful chart what we can what pay attention the next uh, time frames have to work with time frames uh, here uh, this part uh, m5 it is a place where you can change time frames for example open this menu and, and you can see a lot of stuff here a minute seconds honestly here from all of this menu i personally use only this one only this one minutes and uh, uh, this one days count this one as a staff uh, i didn't find it useful maybe you'll find useful for yourself uh, it's up for you to check it uh, let's cover all of this step by step firstly about time frames uh, like one hour four hour Really easy to switch uh, time frames daily. Okay, let's come back to 15 minutes. At this moment, uh, uh, they upload data uh, automatically. And for example, as you can see, they upload only uh, last uh, several weeks. But if you need more data, what you can do really easily, uh, you can choose this one day count instead of out. You can choose, for example, 55 days. It's up for you. Maybe you need 500 days. Uh, and you just uh, push it and pay attention they just uploaded all this data for us and uh, we can see that we have 55 days at this moment when you uh, change the time frame it also uploaded data uh, for those uh, days so, uh, what's the next uh, let's come back to auto i don't need uh, a more for example if you need more additional settings for example you would like to add additional time frames and you push configuration and here in minutes you can add for example 
uh, time frame, custom time frame, for example, 45 minutes, time frame M, custom. Label value, like, and you can add all of the stuff uh, here. I won't do it today because uh, honestly, I didn't do it ever before because I didn't need it, but you can check. As that's it with time frames. Uh, secondly, have to choose different instruments. For example, you have a chart with Bitcoin, but uh, you would like to open a chart with another instrument. Easy, here, you push on, bin uh, on uh, BTC Binance, and in all instruments here, you write uh, uh, coins that you would like to analyze. Uh, BTC USDT and you push two times and at this moment like uh, we have Ethereum USDT uh, depends uh, what you need at that moment at this moment we have BTC USDT and uh, uh, what we do right now uh, with uh, uh, this uh, this one what to do if you would like to uh, change uh, uh, candles into bars because some of you for example don't uh, would like to choose to uh, to look at bars here you can you can have bar, bars uh, chart also you can have uh, clusters uh, you can open clusters here about clusters uh, we, we we are going to cover clusters uh, a lot of stuff uh, with that uh, but it, it just for you example how you uh, can move like candles are really good enough uh, you don't need anything else uh, the next stuff it is a drawing tools how to uh, draw uh, different stuff for example lines trend lines uh, ruler here you can have all of the stuff uh, for example global trend line horizontal line this one it is a uh, white color at this moment let's ch change a color front color let's make it blue um, ah, vis visualization it is here dark blue let's make it a little bit white blue after that, uh, you can change uh, how big it, for example, three, two is enough. Uh, line, t uh, line style, you can also choose, for example, dots, uh, dot flash, some custom, uh, okay, solid. Uh, also, you can write exactly uh, a price where it is. And also behind the chart, also always recommend you to set it. Uh, because sometimes it will be above charts it's not uh, sometimes when you have a lot of lines it's not good to analyze always recommend you to add this one and save as default also with any other stuff ruler uh, with all of this i just recommend you to test also you open menu to any of all of this uh, to any uh, drawing tools and you can change it and test it it's nearly the same as on any other platform and it's really easy just uh, just test it. Another tool uh, that's really interesting, it is this one, this mode, uh, when you can zoom in and you can see exactly what volume were traded at each coin, as you can see this one. Uh, for example, we can see that here some volume were traded. It is like we zoom in into footprint and we can see exactly uh, here what's going on. It just if you need it in the future. The next important part it is indicators. How to add indicators into a chart and what indicators I personally add. Uh, first, uh, on a chart itself, I add the volume, I add uh, uh, cumulative delta, and I add the uh, uh, VWAP. Uh, how we, uh, what we do with indicators. Firstly, you can do it here, indicators, for example, like this one. You open this menu by this one, clicking here or uh, you open menu and uh, use indicator here. At this moment, we have indicator depth of market. What this indicator shows to us, uh, it shows to us uh, limit orders that at this moment on, uh, on Bitcoin. Pay attention to this one. Uh, we also can choose uh, cumulative, uh, both uh, levels. I highly recommend you to use a uh, levels. Uh, uh, I personally don't set uh, this one, depth of market here, because I only analyze depth of market uh, separately. I will show to you how we, uh, we use it. Let's add my own, indi my indicators that I use. First one, it is a volume. Uh, let's add this one. Here we have volume below. Let's do settings to volume. Uh, delta uh, correlating, a description about volume. 
Uh, honestly, I like to add it uh, some neutral color. I quite often add it as a dark color because uh, uh, there would be cumulative delta and you'll understand why uh, for me it's so important that volume must be a, a different color. And uh, at this moment we have a volume indicator on a chart. Let's add additional one. Indicator, it is a cumulative delta that I use. Use in search here, you write uh, cum cumulative delta. And let's add this one. Mm, I like uh, bars. Some people uh, set lines, uh, some people set candles, uh, uh, depends what you like, but I like mostly bars. Um, for me, bars are far more important, but also we can do candles. Here you can uh, you can choose where you will see this uh, cumulative delta. And panel, what does this mean panel? Uh, because uh, you can add cumulative delta to, uh, for example, volume indicator and pay attention that at this moment, let's make it way bigger. And uh, pay attention that cumulative delta at this moment appeared here. But it's not uh, good enough uh, to analyze. I always uh, use uh, a separate new panel uh, for cumulative delta because uh, it's important to pay uh, it separately, uh, attention to it. Like for me, uh, really important to see what's going on with delta uh, here. Especially if you are looking for some delta divergence, uh, that's really important for us. Because when some people selling but price is not dropping, that's uh, uh, a signal of divergence. And still you can do like this one indicated cumulative delta. Uh, you can do uh, bars and uh, you can have it like this one. In some cases bars even way better than, uh, than we have at this moment. And uh, the last indicator that I have uh, personally, it is a VWAP how we add a VWAP, uh, this one, like at this moment we have uh, uh, this VWAP indicator. Honestly, it is a lot of date, da uh, data that we don't need uh, because uh, some data is uh, too much, uh, but uh, like uh, I don't like to use uh, this so much data on VWAP, uh, but uh, let's do on VWAP choose period, always day, mode VWAP, time VWAP, yeah, uh, but uh, it always must be VWAP. About VWAP, uh, here you can do uh, with all of this uh, um, data, for example, uh, uh, you can take out uh, too much data that we don't need because uh, honestly it is uh, this one upper fill and lower fill, it is too much. We don't need these colors uh, because they take uh, too much attention and too much uh, noise. And I personally have uh, uh, VWAP like this one. As you can see here, you can take out uh, standard deviation Honestly, we need only first deviation, second we don't uh, like, maybe there could be a second deviation, not more. About indicators, you also can do, if you don't like to analyze, you can uh, this one push and uh, uh, they take it uh, from your chart and you don't need to sp uh, spend time uh, with this indicator anymore. Let's assume you have at this moment a chart that you would like to work with and that's good for you. Uh, at this moment, it's important for you to save a template because in the future, when you will uh, use different instruments, you won't need to, to move it to another one. Also before, how to uh, save a template. You open menu and here would be a templates. This one, templates, open settings. And here, uh, what you do, add and write, for example, 21st uh, December. And uh, we have this one, 21st December, and voila, we created a, tem a template. Why it's so important? Because at this moment, for example, you would like to open a chart of uh, Ethereum Binance futures. And uh, you have like this one, and it's not beautiful. And what we can do, uh, we easily uh, open templates, uh, open settings, uh, choose your 21st December, push load, and at this moment we have uh, a template that we created together. Uh, we can have all instruments, we can even see uh, what's going on with VWAP, like this one, everything beautiful uh, for us to analyze. That's it. Let's close it. I congratulate you. At this moment, you've done settings with charts. Beautiful. How to add additional charts? For example, you would like to analyze several coins. You uh, push here, open at any place, uh, open this menu and you clone window. And at this moment, uh, when you move, you can see that you have two windows and you can move it uh, into another site here, for example. 
and voila you have two windows for example uh, you would like to analyze bitcoin futures market and spot market like this one uh, bitcoin uh, binance uh, futures market because at this moment it is spot or another instrument you would like to analyze well yeah you have two coins you have btc and you have uh, btc futures and spot or uh, you need uh, you need for example um, ethereum uh, sp uh, spot market you would like to choose two coins it's up for you what coins to analyze but here you have it and any instruments any indicator you also can uh, can change we finish with this stuff what to do if you would like to analyze the footprints let's start uh, working with footprints and do uh, setting the footprints after the dome and after that we will trade but before at this moment i ask you to push like subscribe to this channel because in bigger trading we create a content to make you profitable we personally uh, went through a path from students in a dome with 100 usd uh, uh, per month to income 10 20k per month and we can definitely help you to learn strategies software and all of this and uh, if it's uh, interesting for you consider subscribe to help us grow this youtube channel thank you how to open a footprint chart as you can see i personally have uh, uh, it is my uh, working template i have uh, uh, dome and footprint and chart like uh, only three parts for each coin and i also would like to show you how you can do the same uh, what we do here with this chart uh, what we simply do uh, you open uh, and uh, push clone the window and after that move aside and what we do at this moment and we uh, transform uh, this uh, chart into clusters and in a clusters only you honestly you don't need these indicators you don't need the volume it would be another indicators uh, first you can change uh, the size uh, of this cluster also here highly recommend you to use this delta correlated volume profile uh, because that's enough and that's beautiful for you uh, on what at this moment you should pay really big attention uh, it is this one it is a scale uh, because at this moment you have auto scale on uh, platform and sometimes that auto scale really sucks and you need beautiful one how to have beautiful one uh, take this one for example for btc spot market we use 200 what this scale means it change a step in this row size because uh, if we take for example one uh, that means each tick uh, on exchange it shows to us and honestly it's not good enough because uh, there would be not enough data let me show it to you they are uh, they loading it have a look at this moment they're loading uh, each tick and uh, pay attention that it is not beautiful uh, that it is really not beautiful when you uh, move uh, on a price you make it bigger and pay attention that uh, you can see each tick each tick it is uh, uh, second number after zero on BTC we don't need it. it's too it's uh, uh, too much of information that's why I personally on the spot market use 200 uh, for uh, futures market I use um, 20 and that's it like at this moment it is a footprint that uh, I would use what we add additionally here uh, secondly with open settings and here would be cluster settings draw borders I don't like borders secondly content volume you also can use this volume and delta but uh, too late uh, volume profile bid ask profile volume trades profile delta profile uh, I use volume profile uh, color scheme uh, delta uh, volume proportion you can do for example what this mean volume proportion it shows you by exactly biggest volume traded uh, you can do uh, bid ask volume proportion uh, you can do uh, heat map by volume uh, depends what you like heat map by volume also beautiful because uh, uh, what I uh, see at, uh, based of my experience uh, uh, it's so important to see where volume uh, it's far more important where volume uh, then was it market sell or buy because uh, like it is advanced strategies uh, there would be playlist about strategies in description and you can uh, use it for a start uh, highly recommend you uh, to use this uh, 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 bid ask volume proportion that's it at this moment you have a footprint into footprint I personally add indicators uh, this one uh, um, cluster statistic this one uh, 
let's add it, push here. Uh, what this cl cluster statistic shows to us, pay attention here. It shows to us delta uh, in a bar, volume uh, of each, uh, of each uh, candle, and it shows uh, cumulative session delta. Uh, also, how to change it, uh, really simple, you open this indicator, cluster search, and here you can choose uh, what uh, uh, data uh, you would like to, um, to get. And for example, you can add the show delta volume in percent, um, show session delta, show uh, maximum delta, um, show volume, show duration, uh, show time, like up for you, what's for you really important, you can add uh, here. By this one, you can hide this one, uh, this uh, names. If your computer is small and you don't have uh, space, uh, you can do it. But for me, it's okay to have it. Description, you don't need it. Uh, and uh, well, uh, at this moment, I also uh, congratulate you because uh, you have uh, uh, walking um, you have uh, walking a footprint that I personally used to analyze. Uh, in a footprint, also you can add a special indicator that we use personally. It is a cluster search, but I do not recommend you to add it for too many uh, coins because what we did for our community, we created a special bot that search through a task platform uh, where significant volume trades and based on that, we can take a beautiful trades. Like example today, uh, let me show to you this example. Uh, uh, today on uh, Ethereum, uh, significant volume appeared uh, at uh, this price, uh, uh, 1,208, pay attention, and have a look when price retested this price, uh, it did uh, this uh, beautiful rise. And uh, significant volumes really important for us uh, because uh, uh, if you fall long enough us, uh, you can see how price played out it and it's so important to open the trades exactly at those volumes. Uh, you can get access to this bot, that would be uh, like that would be special form uh, uh, to get access to this bot. Uh, you can trial uh, to, to check it because if your uh, computer capacity is small, uh, it will be difficult for you to use uh, this normally. That means if your computer weak, uh, use only it for two free coins, not more. Mm, for example, at this moment we have Binance. What we do, we open indicators, indicators menu, and we add a special indicator called cluster search. And we add it, how it works, uh, when it finds uh, some significant volume, it sends notification to us. For example, let's do 100. 100, it is too small, uh, let's do 500. And uh, here you can choose a color and you can choose uh, whatever, you, you, whatever you need, for example, 200. And when uh, 200 per BTC trades at some price, uh, it uh, sends notification for you uh, into uh, your platform. Like into a platform here in alerts, it sent it to us. Uh, what must be additional settings? Um, cluster search and use alerts this one you also can connect this alerts to telegram board uh, i will record a separate video and it will show it to people how to do it in the future and uh, after that you push ok and then 200 btc will trade you will get notification but but remember uh, if it will trade based on this chart if you open for example 50, uh, 30 minutes chart instead of uh, if you had uh, uh, it will add all that volume it will work on a time frame that you will uh, write that means if bigger time frame that means volume must be bigger because if you uh, choose for example one hour candle uh, at this moment uh, nearly each cluster uh, shows to us uh, that uh, uh, they traded so uh, the, that amount of volume way better to use it on 15 minutes time frame 10 minutes time frame uh, because it shows exactly uh, clear places where significant volume enters the market additionally two clusters a uh, few words uh, first uh, here you can choose different uh, presets what all of this preset means i personally use that a correlated uh, volume histogram but uh, you can try a different one for example volume versus trades uh, uh, data correlated volume bid ask for example you can see exactly bid ask uh, what this means it is uh, buyers and sellers exactly uh, bid ask uh, uh, delta correlated bid ask uh, ladder uh, bid ask uh, histogram uh, bid ask uh, uh, this one because it shows to you where people bought and sold the amount of coin also uh, bid ask volume profile 
this one may be uh, the most the best one bdask volume profile uh, as you can see it's really beautiful uh, bdask delta profile but for me delta correlated volume profile is the best and here what they did they uh, again let's open the settings they again draw borders i don't like borders uh, you can do it by yourself again congratulate you you have clusters at this moment full settings that i personally do uh, what to do if you would like to uh, have it with different instruments like i have first you do really simple you uh, open menu uh, you clone window and uh, at this moment what you can do for example if you would like to have uh, like i do uh, to in, uh, in, for each instrument i have a uh, sport and futures market like this one btc futures do you see this tiny because uh, for a futures market uh, your scale must be not 200 but it must be 20. you'll pay attention to it in the future uh, when you will have some questions you'll write to me in the comments and i promise to you i personally will reply to you uh, this one uh, you have uh, at this moment i uh, can relate you you have a spot in the futures market dom and footprint for both of them it's so important because uh, we trade on the futures market and the spot important because uh, price moves uh, from volume on spot way more uh, faster than on the futures market at this moment uh, what should you do uh, of course you should uh, uh, save a template for your dom and footprint you again uh, open the settings and for example add new one uh, for example 21st uh, December uh, footprint and push ok uh, and at this moment you saved it because uh, in the future uh, when uh, when you will have desire to open any other instrument for example Let's open Do Do Dogecoin and you would like to open a footprint of Dogecoin. You won't need to do all of the settings uh, by yourself. You simply open template, you open settings and here you open 21st December footprint and load. And here immediately what you do first stuff, uh, you change uh, scaling because for Dogecoin it, it, uh, it should be one. And uh, you change uh, filters for uh, cluster search indicator because uh, like 700 BTC for uh, BNB there must be several millions. And here you have uh, you have really beautiful one. You can see everything uh, here. I immediately delete this one because I don't know why they uh, upload it even if we uh, don't use it. That's it. You have beautiful and clear footprint. And same if you would like to open several instruments, you just clone window and move it uh, together and you create several windows. Before we finish with footprint, the last one, it is how to set uh, some alerts, uh, uh, levels, uh, because uh, beauty here is that you can, for example, firstly, you can open this one uh, full, uh, uh, full mode and you can analyze the footprint uh, uh, with uh, full screen. Uh, what you should do, uh, because here in the settings, uh, there would be hot keys and uh, uh, in hot keys charting uh, what i recommend you to do uh, here pay attention full screen mode uh, you can set uh, uh, commands for example for me it is control uh, zero and it i open full screen secondly uh, for charting uh, you can choose uh, what uh, lines uh, how to build lines for example i have x for a global horizontal line uh, why it's so important? Because in a full uh, screen mode, uh, you cannot uh, open this menu and only uh, you work with uh, hotkeys. Why it's so important? Because uh, when I see some significant volume, even let's open my screens, mm, uh, when I see some significant volume, uh, like this one on if, like this one on if, I really simply build a level and after that I can see that level on a chart because I push X, and I have a level here. I ch can choose a different color, for example, uh, yellow color, color and say, uh, and after that, why it's so important? Because when price reach it, I get notification. Also, uh, I can add alert, use alert. I can add alert, and uh, when price uh, reach that level again, I get notification. That's really useful, especially when you trade. But it works only with uh, hotkeys. What at this moment uh, for you really important to do is to save this workspace. Uh, like uh, you have this stuff 
And for you, it's so important to have possibility to work with this in the future. That's why what you do at this moment in a workspace, uh, you open edit workspace. Uh, you open this one and uh, you should uh, here, you should add uh, additional workspace. For example, one, like again, 21st de December. Why it's so important? Because in the future, when you uh, upload uh, a platform, when you upload the platform, remember when we did a setup, uh, there was a menu workspace and here you choose this workspace. We uh, saved uh, a workspace and what we should do the next. Uh, the next one, it is how to work with DOM footprint, uh, how to add the DOM. Uh, you go here, let's do all uh, stuff with DOM. Uh, you do indicators and here you add the uh, scalping DOM. And you at this moment, we just added scalping DOM. Honestly, it looks uh, a little bit awful, and uh, but we should do, we should make it beautiful. How we make it beautiful? Uh, let's make it for a full, nearly for a full screen to give you more space. Uh, you, uh, what you do, you go to settings, uh, scalping DOM. Uh, before we open Scalping DOM, uh, we should do another settings, uh, settings. And there must be visual settings and this one access and hide price access because you don't need uh, uh, it two times. Pay attention that you can see price here and you can see price here. You don't need it. First, what you do, you just delete it. Uh, secondly, uh, what we do, uh, we open indicator. And uh, we open by uh, this one. Here, this one out to center, it will show to it will when price moves up, it also will move up. That's good stuff. I recommend you to use uh, here. Agreed, uh, like depends on you. I don't like it. So you can add it, you can keep it uh, up for you. PL uh, percent recommend you to use P, uh, percent when you open a trade first in, first out. Uh, also good. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, let's do colors, size, for example. You can change. Not this one. With DOM settings, uh, pay attention here. Uh, okay, let's do can cancel uh, this color. Uh, a red color, it means uh, uh, when you uh, sell, uh, it is sell limit orders. Uh, green color, it is it means uh, buy limits in most cases. Let's do additional uh, DOM settings. First, you also can delete this one uh, or the flow section uh, by taking this out secondly filters highly recommend you to set at least some minimum filters at least one thousand dollars something like that because sometimes there could be a lot of orders but uh, it is uh, uh, they make no sense uh, also you can choose uh, how uh, all this would look text color pnl percent uh, dom sections best ask uh, best bid like uh, these colors, uh, they are good enough and I don't recommend you uh, to use uh, something like that. Uh, we can add some filters. Uh, what these filters means? Uh, for example, if you have a volume uh, above uh, like 100 BTC, let's do example for you. Uh, and uh, let's assume that volume would be for us uh, like this color or even blue. Uh, and volume above uh, 1000 uh, it would be um, red color why it's so important because uh, in the future like this one blue pay attention this one it will be way better uh, on the futures market let me uh, come back it is a special filters uh, that you can show uh, uh, that you can show the uh, significant uh, orders uh, appears like this. let's open again uh, those filters filters like this one, tr uh, transparent. It's the next important stuff, it is a, ho a hot keys. Uh, hot keys, uh, you will use it in the future to open trades. For example, for me, I open trade, uh, sell by market, uh, mm, close position, it is my uh, hot keys. Set uh, all uh, limit uh, uh, orders, uh, cancel stop orders. Uh, uh, highly recommend you to pay attention quite a lot uh, to hot keys and uh, always set additional. Uh, I uh, personally don't use uh, uh, hotkeys by like one hotkey because sometimes it's really easy to misprint. When I started to use this platforms, I had always a pro uh, problem. I open a trade, but somehow it closed. I didn't know, but I had a hotkey uh, space 
and it closed my trade and I delete it and I set it control delete and only in that case I close my trade. It's up for you what hotkeys to use but uh, definitely use it. About order flow section you can choose uh, size here, front uh, family, area of back, italic, underline, strike like depends what you like you can do here. Uh, line by orders for example uh, by orders it is a market by is a green uh, sells uh, red uh, it's okay here nothing to change I like when the ground a little bit darker uh, than uh, a chart by itself that's why something like this for me would be really beautiful that's what I would use personally. And okay, friends, and at this moment you have a uh, normal domain footprint altogether. And uh, you easily can move down and you can see where significant orders appeared and all of this stuff. Uh, at this moment, what you do, you, you open templates, uh, do settings, and your template that you did 21st December uh, for a DOM footprint, you uh, do save and you overwrite it uh, because uh, when we saved, uh, there was no uh, DOM. Voila, at this moment you have DOM footprint. And what you do the next, uh, you easily can do this one, uh, template. And uh, at this moment, uh, DOM footprint, load. Okay, let's, let's load. And voila, at this moment we have uh, the same for a futures market. That's example for you why, uh, let's do 20. Uh, on, on the futures market, I think uh, it's really obvious that it is way easier to see filters that we set it. Uh, uh, remember that we set filter uh, above uh, 100 uh, blue color, above 1000 red color. That's example for you how it should be because you exactly see where significant uh, volume are. That's it. Okay, and at this moment you have uh, set a DOM footprint uh, for, uh, you have chart, you have DOM footprint, uh, you have... Uh, uh, all the stuff that you need. Next important stuff is how to open trades with DOM footprint. Here it's really easy to open a trade because uh, uh, pay attention this one, uh, Binance Futures, first for start open this one, this stuff, and choose account. When you connect your account pay attention that here finally you can add volumes. And here it's really easy, let's close this stuff, T. And uh, here, for example, I will do with some small volumes. Uh, we can uh, first, we can write it into like, uh, you can write in USD and you can check it into BTC, for example. How to open buy. Really simple. First, uh, we can set buy limit. Uh, when you move your uh, mouse uh, on this DOM, pay attention that here you have right bottom sell, uh, left buy. And here, if you uh, use it below a price, uh, you would like to open by you set buy limit order. If you would like to buy uh, with a market, uh, you move pr uh, you move a mouse above a price. You buy with a market, and at this moment we have buy market order, uh, and here you can close it. Have to buy it with your uh, hard keys. Uh, pay attention this one here, common settings. Uh, there must be hard keys. This one, hard keys. And here pay attention what we have, buy market, control up, uh, uh, sell market, control down. You simply use uh, hot keys and you also can open a trade. Let's uh, do here, I use a hot key for example, control uh, up. And pay attention they used this volume that I wrote here, based on that volume that allowed me to uh, open a trade. Uh, and after that I close it by using another hot key. Like I bought and sold same amount of coins. Okay, let's uh, again open uh, a, uh, a trade. How to set a stop loss and take profit. Uh, to set stop loss and take profit through uh, this stuff, uh, what you need to do, you open this one, chart trader, and uh, here there are exit strategy. And with uh, that exit strategy, you should uh, do settings. Stop loss and take profit or multiple stop loss and take profit. Uh, stop loss take profit. Here, uh, what's negative stuff uh, of this exit strategy is that you write your profit target in ticks and honestly it's sometimes difficult to write those ticks. And here, just write numbers and let's, and you push play. And pay attention that at this moment they, uh, what they did, they set uh, sell stop and, and uh, uh, sell limit. It is our stop losses and take profits. Uh, because uh, you need to know exactly in ticks uh, what will be size of your stop loss 
in other case what you can do in other case you simply move uh, you can move it for example let me show it to you you can just modify and at this moment our stop loss is here about take profit uh, the same we can modify and uh, push we can make it smaller push it's easy to delete you just push this one and you delete and uh, on the stop loss you also delete uh, when you close the trade it also automatically uh, mm, close your stop loss and take profit uh, what to do uh, if you uh, would like uh, to see also your trades on the chart uh, first uh, it must be the same chart uh, because at this moment pay attention it is a binance spot market to see trades uh, like in uh, we do trades uh, through futures market and uh, to do trades what we do we switch to futures market and at this moment you can see your trades and also from this chart you also can move your stop loss and take profit pay attention it's really easy to uh, move stop losses and take profits and to close you also can use this uh, button to close it if you don't see this stuff that means uh, uh, there could be a problem uh, because maybe uh, you don't have uh, connected your account that's why you open chart trader t and here uh, pay attention uh, that your account must be connected only in that case you will use it in a case if you trade through another exchange here must be also your another exchange and chart of that exchange only in that case you will have it how to close a trade you have next options first option uh, you can uh, push on this cross uh, you can push here and you can push this close three options maybe the additional one in the future uh, I will record maybe additional one and if you would like to open a trade down you also can do uh, can do it um, let's close the trade at this moment and also uh, you can open a trade step based on this menu how to do it firstly uh, you can choose uh, do you open with limit order or market uh, you choose uh, account after that you write uh, in you can write uh, your size in coins and also you can write it in usdt if your account in usdt for example 15 usdt uh -huh, 17 okay let's do 18 usdt it is a minimum uh, size it is a minimum size for btc it is 17 uh, 18 USD, uh, usdt size for btc uh, tip uh, good till cancel uh, and here market order and what we do buy long or short sell uh, like if you open short sell uh, it that would be a trade for a down this coins uh, buy bid buy ask sell ask sell bid i don't use this stuff it is advanced uh, we don't need at this moment and what we do buy long okay i would like to buy long and at this moment we have buy long and pay attention that at this moment uh, exit strategies they worked automatically because we activated it if you would like to deactivate we push this one they don't work and if we push uh, again uh, they work and they automatically set a stop loss and take profit for us and we after that can adjust it uh, always set stop loss and take profits because different stuff could happen to the markets and there could be some problems okay and let's close i hope uh, it was clear for you how to open close trades uh, in the comments uh, um, you will write to me if it was useful and clear if you will need additional help uh, just write it and I personally will reply as soon as I can what uh, to do if you would like to analyze different coins at this moment uh, there are several options that I use personally first option uh, it is like this one you can do this one for example on each uh, chart uh, you can uh, add uh, additional coins let me and at this moment pay attention you can uh, you can move from uh, BTC BTC and here like this chart uh, uh, you can have several coins like this one and after that to switch uh, from one to another let me show it to you it is one way and I will show it to you another at this moment they create uh, some better ways how to uh, uh, analyze multiple coins and voila at this moment uh, what we can do let's add uh, for example ethereum uh, we have uh, btc ethereum futures let's do all settings to adjust it such scale for uh, for ethereum it is too much let's do 2020 uh, settings like uh, yes 2020 uh, 24 ethereum it is a good one uh, let's do um, 
indicator settings because uh, uh, like cluster search uh, 700 for Ethereum it is too small okay good one and pay attention at this one uh, we have this uh, also filters in a scalping dome they must be different because numbers for Ethereum it is uh, must be another one because price of Ethereum by uh, another uh, why uh, they didn't connect my uh, scalping dome and at this moment that's how you can do uh, you can move uh, uh, from one instrument to another just by clicking here you can add uh, several coins but the one problem here uh, that you should have good capacity of your computer in some cases it will be difficult for you let me show to you what I do let me delete all of this stuff all this window because okay uh, what I do personally, is, it is my workspace that I use personally for myself. I, uh, here, in a workspace, uh, you can add different layouts. Uh, and for example, at this moment, pay attention, I uh, switch from BTC, like it is a, my BTC layout. And after that, uh, I switch to BNB layout. Uh, why I can uh, do it uh, so easily uh, because I added uh, all these coins uh, on different layouts. For a start, what you do uh, at this moment, you create your template with BTC. And first, what you need to do, open the settings and you uh, add a uh, first layout. Uh, for example, at this moment, you saved Bitcoin. You saved Bitcoin. What you do, you push add and you write BTC what you do after that for example at this moment you have btc layout and after that you simply clone it and for example you would like to analyze maybe apt coin okay let's do apt analysis at this moment we clone it and pay attention that at this moment uh, platform uploaded it is different layout i highly recommend you to have limited amount of layouts because at this moment you can see how it uploads because it is create a copies and after that it uh, uploads to this platform and uh, honestly when you have too much uh, even good computer uh, won't uh, work uh, good with this that's why i highly recommend you to work with uh, major instruments that you trade for example like btc ethereum and other stuff and voila at this moment you have apt and for example what do you do uh, on this uh, workspace uh, APT and you write down here your coins that you would like to uh, trade like we wrote uh, about APT and let's do APT uh, all settings to show you how uh, we do uh, we create exactly a workspace scale oh, layout my apology scale for example uh, 5 pay attention that first what I do I change scale after that second what we do uh, we do we go into um, settings cluster search indicators uh, because uh, for this coin there must be completely different numbers not six uh, there must be 60 thousand and at this moment you have good uh, spot market after that uh, we go to here indicators cluster search and not nine but it must be 90 and what we do scale 20 is uh, too much uh, it's enough uh, to set five here and uh, at this moment we do settings with uh, charts for example this one spot chart and uh, uh, futures chart and now i congratulate you you have uh, uh, spot futures chart for this coin you can trade uh, you can open trades and so easy and after that you can move uh, between uh, like BTC and APT really easily and at this moment let's delete it because uh, honestly I don't need APT at this moment uh, I don't trade it uh, for several months that's why uh, we don't need at this moment my friends we did a lot of work together and uh, at this moment uh, uh, for you we created a special lift a list of lessons that will help you make money by using domain footprint strategies and i highly recommend you to watch all of them and subscribe to this channel because we create a lot of content to make you successful see you in next videos and thank you for this long journey if you see this part that means you came to the end and I'm really happy to help you. Let's go to next lessons.